Jim and gang, welcome back to another vlog. So we are on our way to Universal, obviously really excited to go here because I know there's a lot of awesome rides and I don't know why this is focusing on not my face. Yeah, so a lot of awesome rides, a lot of things to see. I keep saying a lot of things to see, but it's endless. It's endless the amount of things we get to see, which is great. So we're on our way to Universal now, I think it's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes till we get there. So once we get there, we have to find parking. I think we have to pack the parking as well. So once we've done all that, we can get on the rides. It's our last day in America, well, last full day anyway, so, wow, that lighting is terrible. Last full day, so hopefully today is as good as, as I hope. I think it's like 10 till 6 is open till, so once we get there, we'll get ourselves situated and then we'll be on our way to the rides. Not going to lie, but I keep trying to find squirrels. There's goddamn squirrels in these trees and I want one. I want to own one. Why can't we have them in Australia? Seriously, where are they? I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to see one, but I want one. Already you can tell that there's a huge difference between Universal and Disney. Obviously Disney's a lot larger than Universal, but the parking situation is so much better. I advise highly to come here in comparison to Disneyland if you want to get everything done because it seems like there's not as many people here. Definitely not as many people here. It took us like five seconds to get through parking. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Not many lines. I'm happy. Let's get on the rides, let's get some shit done. I want to explore and I want to get some photos. Obviously, I want to see Harry Potter World and all that type of stuff. Big fan of that shit, so let's go. Much better situation. <laughs> Much better situation. There's literally no cars here. This is great, but we are early, so. Yeah, I think, I think we did better on this side. I think when you go to the theme park for the first time, you don't really know what to expect, so. This time, we're somewhat prepared. My GoPro's not gonna die, so I'm excited. Yeah, boy. Definitely not as big, the map, in comparison to the last time. Look at all the shops. <laughs> What's here? Guess. Shoe Palace. Sephora. Sketches. Sketches here, yeah, no. Oh, it's right here. Take me in there. Woo. It had to be cloudy as it has to be cloudy as fuck. I don't, I don't understand. Every time we go to a theme park, it just needs to be bad weather. Whoa. What the hell is going on? I'm not even in yet. I'm not even in yet. This is the most inconvenient thing to sit on I've ever sat on my, my life. Just my life. You didn't come to work today. Take your friends. Do whatever you want to do. It is your option. Now, why? So I thought I'd struggle with the airport, like airport security I just went through, but it's all good. That seemed pretty chill, so we got through. I will film, obviously, a lot more scenery today, just because I have a lot more time on my hands to do that. So we're going to take a few photos and then we will be on our way to the Harry Potter world first, I think. Where they are is, boys. Log jokes. So we're about to walk into Harry Potter world. I don't know where it is. I think we have to walk all the way around, but this, this is my shit. This is why we're pretty much here, I'm pretty sure. Like, Harry Potter had like a massive influence in our choice to come here. Uh, this is not it, is it? Beautiful place, beautiful place. But we're trying to find, this does not, <laughs> this does not look like the right way to go. Surely Harry Potter World's not this way. That way? No, it's not that way. It should be around. I don't believe you. We're trying to find this place. There's not many people here, which is what I enjoy. <laughs> so, oh, is that it? That looks kind of, nah, that's not it. That's Funland. Can you look up Funland? We're going to find it. We're going to, we'll show you guys. We'll show you guys. So it turns out I can't read maps at all. Um, I assumed it was in some shrubbery, but it's definitely not. It's on the map. I thought it wasn't on the map. It was like a cut off on the map, but it's definitely on the map. I'm just very, very blind and can't see. So we're running there now, making sure. I, I can't see anyone, so I assume everyone's, everyone is at the Harry Potter. I guarantee it, I guarantee it, but we're gonna run there, hopefully get on the rides before anyone else does, but I guarantee there's probably a line of like 20 minutes already now. So let's bolt, let's, <laughs> let's run. I'm still unfit. 
can't rock the shit. I'm, I'm already sweating, but that's okay. All right, guys. This is where we need to be. <laughs> this is where we need to be right now. Hogwarts, boy. It's Diagon Alley or whatever it is. It's Diagon Alley or whatever, yeah, whatever it's called. Go, 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 go along the alley. Yeah, we're there now. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that, oh my god, it looks so fucking cool, oh my god. Get me to Hogwarts, boy. Oh man. I can't get over how this place looks, seriously. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy, oh my gosh. Everything, everything is like perfect. Are these places actually open or is it just like a display? No, it's in like Honey Dukes. Well, they, they got public bathrooms, I guess. Oh my god, look at that. Hogwarts. What the hell? Get me in a Hogwarts boy. Can you pick up there? I don't think so. Uh, You'd want to hope so. Wait time, 15 minutes. What does it say? Ride simulates dramatic aerobatics. Yeah, no? Hogwarts? So which one of the Harry Potter rides? We messed up a little bit. We went on the good one with the fast pass and we went on the shorter one with the non-fast pass, but we're going to use the fast pass later. But I don't think we will use the fast pass on that one just simply because it's like a 40 second, I think it, yeah, it took like 40 seconds to record on here. But Harry Potter's awesome. I think there's a few more rides in here, but not big ones. I think it's just, I think it's just normal, normal rides at the moment. But we're gonna go check it all out before we obviously head up out of here. But childhood mate, getting some coffee. I'm struggling right now. I can't, I can't even, I can't even right now. We'll grab me some coffee and then we'll run over to some rides. I don't think there's many rides to be honest. There's like seven or eight rides, so we'll get them all powered out. I'll, I'll show you them all. Obviously, I don't want to not show you them because they're pretty fucking sick. So. I'll show you them and yeah, I need some coffee really, really badly. Really, really badly. He's okay, thumbs down as a sign to get our medical teams involved. Also, excellent time for me to point out that these are trained stunt professionals using specialized equipment. This is not the type of thing anyone should ever think about trying on their own. Looks like Brian is just wearing a pair of jeans and a shirt. In truth, there's other safety layers underneath that give him added protection. Nothing is going to make him completely fireproof, but each layer buys him extra time when he needs it the most. Because the last thing a fire performer wants to hear at the end of a take is, all right, let's shoot that again. One take, you got it. We're hoping to get burned for about eight to 10 seconds. And then we do ask if everyone remain seated for the duration of this stunt. Ready and action. Lighting, you live?
So we just saw a special effects tour. Crazy stuff. I didn't even know they did half that stuff. Honestly, I, did, I didn't know that at all. It's cool to see people get on stage and give it a go because <laughs> I wouldn't have the pulse personally, but it's really cool. But now we're on our way to get a studio tour uh, by Jimmy Cullen or the hologram of Jimmy, Jimmy Cullen, I guess. But this one, I think, goes for an hour, so it's going to be a long... It's probably going to be like one of the main things that we see today. Really curious to see what it looks like. It's going to be good. And yeah. I'm Jimmy Cullen. I'll be making sure that you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guy. And the greatest drive. States number 12, it is the largest sound stage on the front line. And you speak to the voice on the vehicle number one stage number. Stage number two. Usually stage is for the demo ones or the voice. They're sending it right there. So we just went to the Hollywood tour and oh my god, what Hollywood can do with literally such small amount of space is is crazy to me. I can see why people want to be in Hollywood and work here. It's, it's a, a league of its own in my opinion. Like I would love to be an actor here. It would be crazy fun. Went through a couple of experiences as well and like, I don't know. Just here is making me love America even more than I did before. Get me a house here. I'm living here, boys. Hollywood 2020. GVN reacts. So we just watched animal actors speech because I don't know how I don't know how they teach them that type of shit. I have no idea, but it's really, really impressive. Everything here is really impressive to be honest. I'm, I'm blown away with the amount of shit that's here. But the one thing I can't stand in, in America is mobility scooters. Oh my god. <laughs> you can probably see I, I'll put the footage in for animal actors, but you see I had to move the camera. I'm sitting in the front row, just before the disability row, and some fat mother flavin just sits, pulls up right in front of me in a, in a golf buggy, because, I don't know, they're enabled because they're, they're bigger, like, you don't even need to be disabled to, to own one, which is just stupid in my opinion, it doesn't really help. But that's my rant over, I'm going to go to, I think Walking Dead, is it Walking Dead now? Yeah, we're going to Walking Dead now, and then we'll... I think there's a couple more rides. There's not many more. I think Simpsons is one. Where else? Transformers, yes. But they're all like visual, visual rides as well, which is really awesome. I really enjoy this place a lot more than Disneyland because you can do a lot more, get a lot more done. And yeah, it's, it's just awesome here. I'm never going on any rides again without a pass pass, honestly. It's too long of a wait and I just cannot be fucked. I cannot be fucked waiting in line for hours.
So I apologise for not recording the outro yesterday. Ate too many fruits and vegetables, got really excited, and I died in my in my bed. So just wanted to say that Universal Studios was amazing, probably the best time I have had in a theme park here, to be honest. I didn't mind Disneyland, but just all those rides and lines and all that type of stuff is just too much, it's just too hard. So really enjoyed Universal, had a lot of fun, recorded things I probably shouldn't have, shouldn't be allowed to record, but. I did it anyway because anyway, I wanted something to remember it by, but that is it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new here. Like the, like the, uh, like the video. Comment on the video. Um, I appreciate all the support nonetheless. 50,000 likes, 40,000 comments, 50 million subscribers. I'm your boy PewDiePie. Without further ado, guys, I'm out of here. So see you next vlog. GVN, play that back, boy.